Hi everyone, Luca from LGM Photography, the Color UK, and in this video I just wanted to show you something on Lightroom, uh, Lightroom 4. So, uh, if, especially if you're starting with Lightroom from Lightroom 4, uh, what you're going to want to do is put your logo onto the picture or watermark, especially if you're delivering to a client, you don't want the picture to be copied. Well, there is many reasons why you would want to put your logo, but obviously the most, uh, the biggest reason is to have your credit on the picture. So if someone look at a picture, they know you've taken it, and you obviously getting the credit for it. Uh, so my obviously my advice is obviously use Lightroom because it's a great program. Uh, you can pretty much do everything. I do ninety percent of my work on Lightroom uh, when it comes to photography. So I'm just going to open a picture here. Uh, it's actually a picture of. Uh, a guy did a course for uh, yeah for some reason my Lightroom I put to drag it so never mind so let's bring this picture so let, so what you want to do is bring the picture you want in Lightroom you want to import you want to put the logo on and where you want to go is go to print and if you go down you can see that there is watermarking uh, option there so if you click on this edit watermarks and this is where you're going to edit your watermark so you've got the option between graphic which will be bringing a picture a png uh, yeah pretty much uh, a logo to it or you've got the option of text so if you wanted to type uh, your, your website name your company name your name um, whatever you want uh, this is where you are and you've got plenty of different options where you can change the uh, shadow uh, offset of the shadow radius and you can pretty much mess around on what you want to do uh, I've got my setup already which is uh, PNG LGM logo always good to um, warp and is a use quite different one uh, as time goes by and always try to name it so you, you know which one it is for example on a certain job I've got to have the watermark in the middle and some other I want the watermark to be quite discreet so once you've added your picture and you've got it where you want it you click on save and then go back to your library <clears throat> once you finish edited your picture what you do you export as you would normally do uh, find a folder where you want it to be then go down to the watermark uh, click there uh, pick the watermark you want or your logo that you want to be on the picture export and that should bring you the watermark on the picture so let's do a quick look right here we go here it is nice discreet exactly what I wanted uh, and then obviously you can pretty much put uh, whatever you want on the picture and that is pretty much it so what we'll be doing in the next few weeks probably do quite a few videos on Lightroom because it, it is the program I use the most and it, to me it's probably the best general program for the photography editing uh, but if you have any question if you want me to make any video just uh, let me know and I'll be able to ever to answer it or make a video about it so um, yeah until then see you cheers bye